All right, guys. This Crabzilla. Yeah, I just want to show you this new thing that I invented. It's a, it's a, it's an engine hoist, which drops your motor down. This is for like Hondas and Acuras and so on like that. But check it out. Don't mind my welding. It welds like shit. But it works. It's a flux welder, cheap Harbor Freight flux welder for a hundred bucks. And I'm a crappy welder, I know. And I don't care. And this is how it goes. So let me explain to you. Because uh, once I post this out on YouTube, this is copyrighted, buddy. See, it sits right on top of your car. I still have to do some modifications from how it is. It holds, holds the motor. But this is what I'm going to use. Right here, the winch, the Harbor Freight 2,500 pound winch. And how it works, I mean, it's pretty heavy stuff here. It's like, uh, uh, it's gonna be upside down though on the car. But it's gonna be like this. And I'm gonna make a bracket for the winch. But this winch is going to be on the bottom. It's going to have a bracket, which I can slide it to the left or to the right. Right? So, um, Acuras, Hondas, uh, Dodge, Neons, all that, all those cars where you could drop a motor from the bottom of the car. You could have the car lifted up. You lift your car up with the jack and jack stand and what you do, you, um, uh, chain the motor right onto the winch and the cool part about this winch it's wireless remote control winch and it's enough to carry a six cylinder motor and cool part these are adjustable this could slide in and out uh, depending on the size of your of your engine compartment is and uh yeah, that's how it works. And uh, another idea I have with this is when I place the winch, it's going to be sitting like this. Actually, ah, I'm going to do it one hand. It's like this. See how it is underneath? Yeah, that's how it's going to be placed. But um, <coughs> what's going to happen is that it's remotely controlled. So if you're underneath the car and you have to unbolt the mounts, uh, flywheel, starter, all that other crap before it's about to drop down. Um, you could actually just uh, pop it right out of the transmission and draw it straight down underneath the car onto a roller and roll your old motor out. And all you do is just grab a new motor, another motor, your new motor, pop it right underneath, hook it back up, and wrench it back up to uh, its proper height before you um, bolt it back onto the transmission and to the mounts. Um, another thing that's good about this is like if you're doing head gasket jobs, you could always pop out the head gaskets and have it lifted with the winch, um, chain it up, have it lifted with the winch, and clean the, the area where the gasket, the old gasket is, while it's suspended in air, while it's suspended above above the the, air, the motor itself, so you don't have to really take everything off, except the exhaust pipes. That's all. And then after that, pop it right back in, and you're good to go. Yep. This is it. So how do you like me now? I like it. Oh, man, this thing is pretty good. Pretty tough shit, man. I even had Phil and me stand on it, and this thing held us up. This is crazy. But see, I just have to um, put something, some kind of rubber shit on the bottom and straighten those out more. 
and on the bottom some kind of rubber shit there so it doesn't damage the car it'll work on any car that doesn't have a cross member on the bottom where you could actually drop your motor down instead of having some kind of engine hoists that goes over the car and where you lift the motor up and drag it over your car this one's a hoist that actually drops it down underneath your car which is a lot safer and you just roll your engine back roll your engine out of there and you're good to go man wow these crazy inventions yeah okay i admit that i'm a mad scientist but then again i'm crabzilla <laughs> okay now this is this kit comes with let me show you what this kit comes with what the hell does this kit come with? okay see that got a wireless remote control so if you're underneath the car and you're trying to bolt on the transmission and try to, you know, wiggle it into the car and bolt it on. You need to lift it up, lift it up a little or bring it down, bring it down a little, stuff like that. Pretty cool. The great part about it, it attaches right straight into your battery and it's portable too. Check it out, guys. If I take this apart, I can fit this right in the back of my car and drive off anywhere and plug it in a battery and drop a motor anywhere I want to or install a new one anywhere I want to. So, which is cool. I'm, I'm not like a real mechanic. I'm just a mad mechanic. See, in this one right here, this is if your finger is broken. You just stick your finger in there and it like fixes your finger and stuff. Yeah. That's for the winch. Straightens it out, buddy. And here, here's my welder. I'm gonna show you my welder. Oh, there's my Harbor Freight grinder. Got it, got it yesterday for 11 bucks. And it's my Chicago Harbor Freight 90 amp, 90 amp welder. It does the job for a hundred dollar welder. Actually works pretty good. Yeah, no, it's a flux welder. So, you know how flux welders are. Your welder, you should know. It, it's a mess. It, it splatters everywhere. It's because you don't need... This one doesn't use cethylene gas. It has its own flux. And it makes all this crappy-ass shit all over your thing. I've got to, like, clean that and wash it off and grind it down now. Yeah, I'm not a professional welder or none, but... It held, it holds up pretty good. So, all right, guys. Hope you guys like this. Crabzilla signing out. Uh, see that? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Remote wireless. Yeah, baby. What's up? All right, gotta go. Bye.